So actually, Calcutta took more research than my historical novels in a way. Uh, you know, it took me three years to write and research, meeting people, trying to gain their trust and confidence so that they opened their doors and I could spend time in their company. Could you just tell uh, one incident? Oh, many. Um, you see, uh, when I thought of this story about, uh, about gigolos, I said, well, how on earth am I going to meet a male sex worker? It's very hard, you see. So I went to uh, Shunil Gangopadhyay, who was still alive. Shunil Gangopadhyay was a very famous Bengali novelist. And I said, uh, could you introduce me, can you introduce me to a senior police officer? Because I felt that police officers would at least know how this trade worked. He immediately understood that I was, uh, as a writer, I was looking for source material. He called up the commissioner of police in Kolkata. And the commissioner of police fortunately had read some of my books and he was very happy to meet me. And it's a, quite a hilarious incident because I went to meet him at Lal Bazaar, which is the largest police headquarters anywhere in the country, and built by the British. Very respectable, very big hall. And he was sitting there, the commissioner of police, and I went in. He served me Darjeeling tea. And he said, how can I help you, Mr. Basu? And I said, I'm looking for a few gigolos. You know? And to his credit, he didn't laugh or he wasn't shocked. He wasn't taken aback. He said, okay. I think I can help you. And then he led me on to certain other parts of the police that dealt with illegal trafficking and you know, things like that, like that. And by and by, I came to meet uh, the people in the you know, sex trade and gain their confidence enough to be able to write a novel.